So I'm in Onion Valley. Um, I was invited on a trip by Matt and Chuck and they invited me to come along and do the Ray Lakes loop. So I'm gonna join them for four, maybe five days and uh, see how far I can get on those four days. My first time hiking with Chuck and Matt. Very grateful that they invited me. Let's have some fun. Looking back down at the Onion Valley trailhead here, we're heading up towards the first few lakes to make a camp. Independence should be way out there in the valley somewhere. Oh, look at this stuff. Yeah. It's gorgeous, isn't it? It's amazing. It? There's the man right there. Cheers, buddy. Cheers, Cheers. everybody. Matt. Cheers. All right. Sweet. Thank you, sir. Let's open this. Cheers. Cheers. New friends. Salute. Salute. Yes, indeed. Oh, my goodness. Oh, that That's is just a spot, right? Look at this deer here. This is the view from camp as the sun is setting over the Owens Valley and the desert beyond that.
Good morning, Chuck. Good morning, Jarl. So what time did you get up today? Uh, we got up about 5 o'clock, 5 a.m. here. 5 a.m., yeah. Yes, sir. Yep, I heard something rumbling around my tent, and I thought it was a bear. Well, I was taking care of that. Yeah. There were bears out here this morning when we first got up, but that's why I'm usually the first one to get up and <laughs> okay. take care of all that. So when you guys get up, you can just leisurely have your coffee and go about your day. So, yeah. That's awesome. So what's the plan for today? Well, the plan for today, so so yesterday we came in about half of our halfway up the pass. We did 2.5 miles just to get to, I think we're at Gilbert Lake. And we've got about another two point something to get up over Cursarge Pass. Probably hang out there for a minute, and then we're going to head down to Charlotte Lake. So uh, the better we've got an easy day, which is why I'm sitting here enjoying the coffee. Uh, so we've got an easy probably under six miles. I think it's two point four to the junction, and another one point five from there to the lake. So that's what our day looks like. Let's see how it goes. Awesome. Thank you. Yes, sir. All right, we have started day two. Looking out over Gilbert Lake here. We camped right down here at end of the lake. Here comes Matt to the beautiful backdrop of stunning mountains. Let's focus on the backdrop. <laughs> Goodness. Here comes Chuck the Mauler and Matt the Hauler. Here's Heart Lake. So here we are looking at the Kersarch Pass for the first time. Coming up on Kersarch Pass here now, not too far. It's right there in the notch.
where if you look up at the Curse Arch Pinnacles, you don't see any of those mountains behind we saw from no, the past. Yeah. Right. That's a nice little range. Here's Bullfrog Lake. Beautiful lake. And a beautiful surrounding. So pretty, Bullfrog Lake. So up here we can actually see Forester Pass, I believe. It should be way back here. Maybe this one where you see the where you see the snow shoot. So we have reached where we are looking to camp. Pretty here. This is right in front of our camp spot. We found camp and we're just chilling here. These are my legs. These are Matt's legs over there. So Chuck's legs. Yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. How are you feeling about today, Matt? I actually feel pretty good about today. I think we did uh, pretty good up coming uh, when we broke camp this morning and then the uh, rest of the afternoon was pretty straightforward. Coming yep. down here. Beautiful campsite Chuck got for us. Yep. Good day. Awesome hiking down past uh, yeah, past that uh, Bullfrog Lake there. Yeah, once we got to the pass, it was pretty, yeah. pretty spectacular. Yeah, it story. was. So Chuck and Matt are getting water. Here's our camp. Overlooking this beautiful meadow here.
All right, it's dinner time. And here's my dinner spot over here. Truck is set up over here. What are you making, truck? Well, well, first we're having a beer. Yep. A compliments of Jarl. I think tonight I randomly pulled out mashed potatoes and lasagna. Awesome. Sounds good. Well, I'll let you know. <laughs> and then we have Matt down here. Hello. Hiding from the wind. I'm trying. Yep, trying. What are you making? It works out. Uh, we got a little bit of ramen noodle tonight. Oh. And I'll mix in a little bit of mashed potatoes, thicken it up a little bit. And, That's called uh, a ramen bomb, isn't it? Something like that. Yep, and, yep. and throw little crispy onion strips yep. in there. So kind of excited about tonight's dinner. So, sounds amazing. It tastes good. I've never yep. had it before, so we'll find out. It'll be good. I think so. <laughs> awesome. So that's our walk through dinner camp. <laughs> It's day three and we have a visitor in camp. Not very shy. Smelling that salt. I think he wants a cup of coffee. Yeah, probably. Hello there. So we came back, right in camp. We have started climbing towards Glen Pass. And Ray Lakes is supposed to be four miles ahead of us. Charlotte Lake. Down here are the meadows that we camped at. Great camp. I can see that little spot that kind of juts out into the water being a cool camp spot, but I'm not sure it's worth it extra. <laughs> Heading towards Glen Pass. It's a pretty epic trail. Here's Charlotte Dome. I think I saw that from the other side, Mount Silliman, two weeks ago. Now I know where it's at.
So up there in the notch is Glen Pass, where we're we heading. Gonna take a water break here. now to Glen Pass. Here's Matt approaching Glen Pass. Got 50 yards to go. Lake space. Beautiful.
we'll start heading down towards Ray Lakes. off the pass and there's no snow here that's of any consequence at all. We could actually bypass it so now we're just gonna head down to Ray Lakes and it is stunning up here. Pass behind me there. So here's where we came down. Up there's the pass. We just came down this beautiful mountainside here. This great trail here. It's like someone's living room. So we have reached Ray Lakes.
wobble there. Yep. So we have kind of a perfect lunch spot here with beautiful views everywhere. We might not want to leave this place. So if somebody's looking for us, let them know we're between the two top rail lakes. So this is Arrowhead Lake. Really pretty. This is where we are planning to set up camp for the night. Somewhere. This is a round camp at Arrowhead Lake. These are the mountains right above us. And we're setting up camp over here. So this is where we're cooking our food today, right by the lake. So the sun is setting, it's 7.15. I 
it's gonna be a cold night. Beautiful morning. There's ice on top of my beer canister this morning. It was a pretty cold night. Here's the view where I start. Beautiful, beautiful cold morning at Arrowhead Lake. So it's day four. I'm leaving Matt and Chuck behind. I need to be out in two days now. So I'm gonna try to do two big days and complete a loop going from Arrowhead Lakes to uh, probably somewhere past Sphinx today if everything works out and then out tomorrow. So it's gonna be a long day today and a long and hard day tomorrow with a lot of elevation gain. So, but it should be beautiful. Here we go. Dollar Lake. These views here are amazing. Hey there, beauty. Yeah. You're a pretty one. Doesn't care if I'm here. So pretty. Do you have a name? I'll call you the king of the forest.
What an amazing place. I have reached the suspension bridge over Woods Creek. This should be fun. It's shaky. This is Woods Creek. Pretty cool. Okay, so apparently I have to go 15.1 miles to Rhodes End and then I have to go a couple of miles more from there. It should make it 22, 23 miles, something. Okay, just have to go. Heading down the Woods Creek drainage towards Paradise Valley. Look at you. Yeah, get get that food. Here's looking back up Woods, Wood Creek. This is looking down into Paradise Valley. Should be reaching Paradise Valley pretty soon now. I'm gonna cross Arrow Creek here. This looks like the spot to do it. I'm gonna put on my camp shoes for this. Ooh, it's cold. <laughs> cold. Very cold. It's not very deep though. It's like ankle, shin, deep. Look, looks like somebody put a carn up there, so that's probably the best way, but this is pretty decent right here. So I'm gonna keep going this way. Here it's gonna get a little bit deeper. Probably knee high here. 
nah, still only shin deep. So this is the deepest part. This is gonna get knee high, I guess. Let's see here. Yep. We got it. Paradise Valley. This place really is something. I think I'm right above Mist Falls. I can see some people. 
way down there. Pretty cool. something that looks like a rattlesnake. Mm -hmm. I have reached Bob's Creek, finally, after 18 and a half miles, and a lot of downhill. So now I'm gonna head up over swings and see if I can find a camp that would put me in a good position to make it over Corsage Pass tomorrow. That's got to be the swings up there. Pretty sure on top. Looking out towards Road's End. Looks like there's a thunderstorm coming in over Paradise Valley. Could get some rain soon. Looking dark. So I've come uh, a little over 20 miles, started climbing up along Bubs Creek to finally end up at uh, Corsage Pass and Onion Valley tomorrow, hopefully. I have reached uh, Sphinx Creek and this was my goal for today. Uh, I've done 21 miles. Uh, it's about 5.30 p.m. now. I'm gonna keep going for as long as I think I have strength to go, just to shorten this 8.9 up to the Death Meadow. So, here we go. Found a pretty good camp here after a long day. Nearly 25 miles today. Pretty exhausted. So probably gonna sleep well. First some food. It is day five and here's Charlotte Dome that I camped right below. It's the last day. I'm gonna keep heading up along Bubs Creek here then go up to Bullfrog Lake and over Corsage Pass to make this the end of my absolutely magnificent trip. Can't stay here. <laughs> go away. Go away. Go away, good boy. Can you still see him? Yeah, he's still, he's just hanging out behind here.
You have to go away, Bear. There's people here. Yeah, you want to go away? Yeah, just go. Keep going. Go away. The other way. Go away. Go. 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 Turn around. <laughs> Turn around. Go away. 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 Don't come here. Don't come here. You want to come over here and make yourself... Hey! Stop! Go away. Go away. Go away. Well, he's right here behind the edge here, so try to make yourself tall, like right, yeah, keep them up. <laughs> yeah, stay tall. Oh, he's coming. Ah! So that was an exciting morning. Uh, the reason why we didn't back off from that bear was that there was a woman packing her stuff and she was right there. So if we had started backing up, the bear would have gone over to her. So we had to stand our ground and make sure that she could pack her stuff before we started backing up. Luckily the bear ran away. And we made some loud noises and made ourselves as tall as possible with extra hiking sticks and up in the air and screaming and yelling. And he took off. Well, here's another one right next to the trail or the same one. Maybe you circled us. Junction Meadow here, pretty awesome. Just climbing out from Junction Meadow, getting some great views.
looking out at Bob's Creek up towards Forester Pass in the middle there. There's Kersarch Pass above Bullfrog Lake to the left up there. Final approach to Kersarch Pass, which is right over there. it four miles back to the car now